In this clip, you will learn how to use the Mesh Offset node to make the cubes appearing slowly. Alright, we left this scene with an animated bunch of cubes moving in space to form our text here. Now, I'd like these cubes not to exist at the beginning of my shot. If you want to follow along, you can open m2-02.mb in the scenes directory. Ok, I will do my appearing effect using a mesh offset node. So we already added a node in the previous clip, so let's do the same operation to add a new one. Select the mesh1 network in your outliner, and if it's not already the case, go under the mesh1 tab up there. This time we will add an offset node. Click on offset, and then add an offset node. That node does nothing for now, but by modifying the offset values here, I can move, rotate, or scale all my mesh objects. By default, all mesh objects have the size of 1. If I offset the value here to minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1, I can see that now all my cubes are gone. If the original size is 1, and I subtract 1, I get 0. That's right. And a scale of 0 for a 3D object means that the object isn't visible anymore. Now, one more time, I can play with the strength slider to size up my elements and make these cubes appear. Like in the previous clip, I will animate that slider. Let's go to frame 1 and set a key with a strength of 1. Do a right click and set a key. Now move to frame 50, set the strength to 0 and set a key. Perfect! Now, as I'm scrolling through my timeline, I can see that my cubes appears and form the text. Right on! Now, we almost have the effects we want here. However, I don't want these cubes anymore. You can have them if you want, but in my case, I like to have my text under it. And instead of these cubes, the faces of the text appearing and building it. It's of course totally possible, and we will do that in the next clip. See you there.